But little does Riley know I have a glorious mustache. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you were saying that. Mwah. Oh, you love me. You want to ride? Intel no doubt felt scorned when Apple switched from using Team Blue's processors to their own custom Apple Silicon chips, but it looks like Intel is getting some more ammunition to fight back. Turns out this whole time, Apple's director of Mac Systems Architecture, Jeff Wilcox, and he will Cox, this guy Cox, who led the transition for all Macs to Apple Silicon, was a former principal engineer at Intel. And now he's leaving Apple to go back to work at Intel Silicon. Comfortable. Baby. Obviously, Wilcox wouldn't spill all the beancocks on Apple's trade secrets, but you know, beancocks. <laughs> yeah, spillcocks was way better. He wouldn't spill all the beans on Apple's trade secrets because of NDAs. You know, it's illegal. Uh, and also, Jeff just wouldn't do that because he's a nice guy. He's one thing's for sure though, he probably will be getting a sweet payday since Apple was reportedly giving some engineers $180,000 bonuses to dissuade them from defecting. I don't know if that would work. So wait a second, he's getting paid because he's not getting that bonus? So you think that Intel is paying him more than that? That's the math. That's what you're implying? That's what I figured out. Maybe he's just like, you know what? I want other fruit now. Kiwis. We've avoided talking about car stuff this year at CES because how long does it take someone to say that Chevy, Chrysler, and their buddies all announced new EVs coming in 2024? That long. But BMW brought some real CES news with their concept car collaboration with E-Ink. That's right, it's an SUV made with an exterior made out of color changing E-Ink panels. There's probably no way this will actually happen. What, a, like right. a, a wire that connects to every panel? You're yeah, everyone wants to know what color it changes when you get in a crash. Obviously the answer is blue screen of death. It's cool, it's really cool. It's also stupid, but less stupid is BMW's 31 inch, 32 by nine ultra wide display that slides down from a car's roof. Would you rather have that or a book with a little light that wobbles around constantly? There's a right answer. Read books. And France has fined Google and Facebook a total of 210 million euros, which is nothing, for making it more difficult to reject their website's cookies than it is to accept those website cookies. And I don't often thank France for much other than making Quebec a thing and French fries also. Um, so we could have poutine here, but this is an exception. Merci buckets. Oh. Because those stupid accept cookies prompts are the worst thing about using the internet in 2021. It's 2022 now, Riley. Oh, what were the worst? Other than the lurking sense of existential dread. Google and Meta, which is still Facebook to me, haven't said exactly what they'll do in response to the fines, but hopefully they'll serve as a warning to everyone else that it's not cool to push cookies on someone, even if they were baked specifically for them. Cookie consent in 2022, people. <laughs> Now it's time for some delicious quick bits baked for you by the power supply savants at Seasonic. <laughs> Their power supply recipes have been baking in the oven for over 40 years at very low temps. And while they may sound like they're gonna be way overdone, it's more like a stew, this is stupid Riley, a stew situation or like wine. We're talking units with 80 plus titanium efficiency ratings, fluid dynamics, fan bearings that have less noise, and a frickin' 12 year warranty. They'll even send you cookies. What the? No, they don't. Oh. They don't do that. But they will send you a badass power supply if you give them money. So go to seastonic.com or click the links below and check them out. Don't eat them though. I feel like this whole week is one long quick bit segment, you know? We're trapped. That's not right. Let me out! There's flying, long form, oh, subscribe to They're Just Movies. Not right. Laptop brand XMG brought a pretty cool device to CES this week. That's a pun, it'll make sense in a second. The Neo 15 gaming notebook can connect to an external water cooler called the Oasis to keep its Intel 12th gen CPU and Nvidia RTX 3000 series GPU nice and chill. Asus did something similar in 2016, but it looked like a giant spaceship. This one from XPG is way cooler. It plays Wonderwall. Even though you don't want it to. Yeah. Yay, more weird stuff. Navetto, Novetto, sure. announced its N1 speaker at CES, which may sound kind of disappointing when you first turn it on, because apparently it transmits ultrasonic audio through the air and deposits that audio next to the listener's ears, not in them, <laughs> so that no one else in the room can actually hear it. <clears throat> I added that not in them part. Okay, so hold on. You can play all the swear words you want. That's what you're saying. Yeah. I could be like, my children, 
They can't hear me, I'm just listening to F word tracks on repeat. <laughs> This is yeah, yeah, yeah. so weird. We've also glossed over most of the smart home tech at this year's show, but there is an encouraging trend to be found in the announcements. More support for Thread, capital T. The next gen smart home protocol that allows various devices to serve as signal repeaters in a mesh network. Mesh is so much cooler than star topology, am I right guys? The Slodge, Slodge, I never know how to pronounce this brand, and oh. Code Plus, it's probably a lock. It has it, this Thread protocol, and it lets you unlock your door with your Apple Watch. That's pretty cool, you don't need nothing. Eve's motorized motor blinds have it, and Nanoleaf is putting it basically in all their products going forward. Hmm. Cool threads, guys. Konami is the latest company to try and cash in on NFT mania. They've announced 14 NFTs representing songs, short videos, and promo art to commemorate the 35th anniversary of the Castlevania series. Great news for people who love to look at a thing and be like, I spend money on that thing, only I have it, this one's mine. Oh. And in more uplifting news, a drone helped save a 71 year old Swedish man's life who had a heart attack shoveling snow in his driveway, bless him. Bad neighbors, they should have helped him. The aircraft, made by Everdrone, arrived on scene just three minutes after the emergency call was made and dropped a portable defibrillator, which was used to revive him before the ambulance arrived. So I guess, uh, we may have some robots on our side when the Great War kicks off, the, the greatest war ever. The question is, can we use them offensively? A defibrillator hits you in the head. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> it comes from the sky. No one yells clear and <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've just about had the tech news today, so come back tomorrow for the latest tech link of the week, and we'll clean up this CES cesspool together. Um, I really wanted to make a joke with that 71-year-old man's Swedish meatballs. But we never got there, so come back tomorrow. <laughs>